The James Webb Space Telescope will be the biggest optical and infrared astronomical observatory ever placed in orbit. Its sun shield is the size of a tennis court and it has a six and a half metre mirror in honeycomb shaped sections equivalent to a building three storeys high. But it's not just the size and cutting edge technology that is exciting astronomers and space scientists. It's what the telescope will allow them to do because its sensitive and sharp infrared vision can help address a number of key questions, such as the cycle of elements early on in the history of the universe. It's unprecedented. We, won't, we can't touch upon any of these starts of early star formation. We don't know how these elements are produced. We don't know what, is it supernova, is it dying stars like our sun that are important in these galaxies. We can't see that with any instrumentation that currently exists or that's even thought of. James Webb is the only instrument and I can't wait to see what it's going to be able to do. The observatory is an international project involving NASA, ESA and the Canadian Space Agency. It will be operated from the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore and one of its many capabilities will be to characterise the atmosphere of known exoplanets. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at these planets as they pass in front of their star and take snapshots as they're doing that. And this creates like a time series of observations. So we can look at the planet as it passes in front of the star and blocks out that light. And from that, what we're looking for is the signatures of the starlight that shines through the atmosphere before it reaches the telescope. And imprinted on that light is fingerprints of different molecules. And that's what we're really looking for, to understand what's the nature of these atmospheres? What are they made of uh, and what are these environments like on these worlds? Back on Earth at a recent astronomy conference in the UK, everyone was looking forward to what will be achieved once the telescope is in orbit. I think the great thing about Webb is that it actually touches all of astronomy. So because it's so flexible, you can use it to study things inside our own solar system, but you can also use it to find examples of the very first galaxies. So it really is spanning almost the entire history of the universe. Astronomers have made giant steps in our understanding of the universe over the past decades, but there remains much to learn about our cosmic origins, and the range of questions waiting to be answered is causing high expectations. From solar system to cosmology, uh, stellar population. So we're very excited to see what well we will be able to do. And um, as usual for these observatories, the great surprise will be the unexpected anything that we, you know, we can't even dream of right now, but what we'll do. The James Webb Space Telescope will complement existing observatories, but with its unprecedented combination of infrared vision, increased sensitivity and image sharpness, it will also be a huge leap forward. We're still a few years away from the telescope's launch on a European Ariane rocket, but like all the best things in life, it's definitely worth the wait. Thank you.